So welcome to a quick ORAN RIC E2 simulator demo. So here we have an ORAN deployment scenario reference. On the far left, we have the non-real-time RIC. In the middle, we have the near real-time RIC. And then we have the rest of the components, the CUs, the DUs, and the RUs. These will all be deployed either in the public cloud, regional cloud, edge clouds, or cell sites. So for this demonstration, we're going to limit the scope to just a simulator that emulates the E2 interface. Now the E2 interface can be from the near real-time RIC out to the CUs or the DUs. So for the demo, we've packaged this up into a pre-built container image available out on Quay.io, and we're gonna run it as two separate pods. Um, the first one acts as a server, which is the one on the right, which is the E2 SIM. And then we're gonna to connect to that server using the RIC SIM in a separate um, pod. Now both of these are going to be running on the uh, Red Hat Universal Base Image Container, running on OpenShift Container Platform. Okay, so we've got two terminal windows. First thing we'll do is check the OpenShift cluster version, which is 4.5.11. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is run the E2 simulator. So you can think of that as the CUs or the DUs. So we've got a YAML file uh, prepared and we can see that the pod is running successfully. Okay, next thing we're going to do on the bottom terminal window, we're going to switch and run the RIC simulator. So this is essentially emulating the near real time RIC. Okay, that pod is running as well. We should see both pods now, and we do. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is um, RSH to each pod. And go ahead and run the applications. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is set the environment variable so that the applications find the appropriate XML files. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is determine the IP address that the pod is using. And then we're going to go ahead and set up the server and it's going to be listening on that network interface or IP address. Okay, this is running SCTP. Okay, now we can go ahead and run the client side and we're going to tell it to connect to the remote IP address that we used um, for the server to listen on. Okay, so they're connected and you can see they're exchanging uh, RIC messages. So just go ahead and let that run. And that concludes this demo.